Hey Charleston, John Crompton here, your trusted realtor at Keller Williams Realty, bringing you the market update and what we saw happen in July compared to last year. Now, if you've been watching these for a while, you understand that things have definitely been interesting since the rate hike of last year. We're still seeing a good surge in contracts. And yet, did you know that the resale market is down 27.6% in contracts written for the last 12 months, while new construction is up 13.9%. So that's going to be Part of the factor going forward as a seller is you're going to be competing with these builders and these builders are throwing everything but the kitchen sink at people to get them in the door so let's talk about the market update and a little bit more about that afterwards the average sales price for the month of july is five hundred and seventy one thousand dollars and change that's up 2.5 percent from last year so pricing even with all going on is sustainable it's staying still and it's not moving um, days on market, we're at 27 days on market. That's up 92.9% since last year. Again, we had a huge uh, lower rate at that time, a lot more activity. And with the feds moving forward with their rate hikes, people were jumping in droves to, to get under contract. Our inventory, we're at 1.6 months of inventory. That's down 5.9% from last year. We had literally been hovering at that number for the last 12 months plus. Probably gonna stay there for the next 12 months going forward. Listings, we saw 1,792 listings go to market in July, but that was down almost 20% at 18.4%. So still less incentivized reasons for sellers to put their home on the market and get moving. Uh, pending sales, we had 1,609 homes go pending. That's up 7.8%, but go back to that earlier comment, resales down 27%, new construction's up 13.9%. We're kind of seeing those contracts kind of be held off there. Of closings, this was fascinating to me. We're at 1,369 homes going to closing in July. That's down 19.8%. The last time we saw this number, I believe, was 2015. So definitely a, a retracting closing date or closing number. So what, what does all this mean? Well, pricing stable. Inventory is stable in terms of that it's still extremely low. There are buyers out there. And the builders are throwing everything but the kitchen sink, 4.9%, 5.25% to entice people to buy new as opposed to a resale. So as a seller, you need to be ahead of that and think a little bit further on that going forward. If you guys have questions, and I know you do, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to answer them. Take care.